Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2018 Ram 2500, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Kurt front mount trailer hitch receiver. Before we get into that though, let's just take a minute, check this out and make sure it's gonna work for you. Putting a front hitch on your truck is really gonna open up the opportunities on what you're gonna be able to do with your Ram. And quite frankly, kind of surprised more people don't actually equip their truck with a front hitch because it uh, makes it a lot more versatile. So just a couple of examples, you know, if you're trying to use a snow plow, uh, this will work for that. Uh, a winch setup, um, it'll work for that. You know, if you happen to, you know, want to try to move some trailers around in tight spots around the house or something, you can always push those around. Uh, but it seems like what's getting more and more popular now with a lot of people, you know, getting campers and going over the road, towing their camper behind there and, you know, you got the family with you and you want to load up some bikes up here or put a, a carrier up here with you know some additional equipment or gear you know whatever the case may be you can use it for that type of thing as well and even as a, a work vehicle you know if you you can get an extender up here that runs up if you have a, a roof rack or a ladder rack you know you can use that extender to, to you know have long pieces of wood or tubing or anything like that come over towards the front of your truck and it all be supported so um, you can really think outside of the box on the different type of things that you're going to be able to do with a setup like this. With this particular hitch as well, I think it's going to look really good. Uh, I don't think it can get much better, to be uh, honest with you. You know, it sits up tight. It's not going to take away any of your ground clearance. And, you know, you really can't even notice it's there unless you're kind of right up on it. Uh, blends in, it almost looks factory, you know, it kind of follows a path there along the uh, edge of your plastic bumper and uh, gives you that opening that you need to use those different types of accessories. That opening is going to be two inches by two inches, really common size, so a lot of different stuff's going to work with it. It's going to have the standard 5 8 pinhole, and that's the size pin and clip that you're going to need. Uh, one doesn't come with the hitch, but not really a big deal. Uh, if you need one, you can always get it right here at your trailer. As far as the hitch's weight capacities go, it's going to have a 500 pound maximum gross tongue weight rating. That's going to be the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. Uh, it's going to have a 5,000 pound maximum gross trailer weight rating. So the amount of weight pulling on the hitch, uh, that would be weight of your trailer plus anything that's on it. And then it's going to have a 9,000 pound vertical line pull, and that's apl applicable uh, if you're using a winch, that's going to be the amount of uh, weight or force, I guess you could say, um, being applied to the front hitch. But with all that in mind, I do always like to suggest never a bad idea just to grab your truck's owner's manual. Uh, that way you can check in there and make sure it can handle uh, that much weight safely. I'll give you a couple of measurements and you can use these to help figure out what type of accessories will work best. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, that's going to be about 15 inches. You can use that to figure out all different types of things, you know, whether you have enough ground clearance or if you're your winch or snow plow or whatever it is that you're using uh, is going to work. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the front bumper, that's going to be about nine inches. And again, you can use that to figure out your clearance, you know, is your folding accessory going to be able to be stored upright and, and not have to worry about it hitting the front of your truck. This hitch is going to work with the two-wheel drive as well as four-wheel drive models. Um, we happen to have the four-wheel drive one here today and this one's also a diesel truck. Uh, so it'll work with diesels and gasoline trucks. So more or less regardless of what you got, uh, what you got, you'll be in pretty good shape there. Uh, compared to some of the other hitches available, um, you know, this one will work for a lot of different things like we talked about, but I feel like, you know, what you're trying to accomplish is going to kind of dictate what hitch might be best for you. The other ones actually set up here in this void here in our bumper. So a little bit higher up, you know, um, for those of you maybe using a winch or something like that, that might be a better solution, but it's really just going to depend on what you're trying to do, you know, what one you like the best. There is an eco hitch available as well that has, uh, that sits up here that has a little bit higher capacity. So if you kind of plan on maxing it out or kind of, you know, pushing it to a limit, that might be the one to, to think about. But other than that, at the end of the day, it's a great tool to have on the front of your truck. Um, looks good when you're not using it and is uh, there to use when you are ready to, uh, to do something with it. As far as installation goes, 
it's everything's just kind of tight um, and a little tricky to get to in some cases. It's not complicated, just a little time consuming. So uh, be patient there, but as long as you take your time, you should be in pretty good shape. Uh, with that said though, why don't we go ahead and get started on it now. To so begin our installation, we're gonna be here at the front of our truck. And what we need to do first is cut out a small opening here on this uh, bottom lip on the plastic portion of our bumper. That way our hitch, our receiver tube will be able to pass through. I went ahead and just kind of marked that out. Uh, there's a diagram in the instructions, tells you where to cut. And so being somewhat thick plastic, I'm gonna use a multi-tool. You could use a Dremel tool or uh, you know, a good pair of tin snips, something like that to, to get this cut out. If you want to, you can always come back with some sandpaper, utility knife, and kind of get rid of all the rough edges. We're able to remove some of our factory hardware now. now this hardware is going to be behind our bumper. I just wanted to give you kind of a reference point from the outside because it is kind of tricky to see behind here, but there will be two nuts located kind of just in this area. So if you look just outside of your tow hook, be right in there. But with that said, uh, we'll take a look underneath and, and check them out. So there's one of them and there's one identical to that just a few inches above it. Pretty much impossible to see on uh, camera, but it is there. Uh, regardless so, we're gonna have to get them removed. Just take the nuts off. So an 18 millimeter is the size that you're gonna need to do that. And I wanna mention from this point on, uh, anything we do to one side of our truck, we're also gonna do to the other side because it'll be set up the same way. On the lower bolt, you can take this thick spacer block and you're going to place that over it like that. And then the bolt up top, you can take factory nut and just get a couple of threads started on it. You know, maybe uh, run it down an eighth inch, something like that. And then you're going to want to push that hardware essentially flush. So about like that. Uh, do that on each side, that way when we go to put our hitch up, um, it's not going to get hung up on the spacer block. And now with the help of uh, Brad here, we can get our hitch raised into position. So there's parts that kind of, these uprights here, those are gonna line up with that hardware that we pushed in flat, you know, on the bottom. And then when you get lined up, you can just push that bolt through and that hopefully will support it. Once that's through, you can take the new nut that they give you and uh, put that on. So we'll go ahead and get this into position. So get them to pop through like that. And so we'll take our new nut and place it on the bottom side. With the hitch in place, if you look on uh, the back side of the hitch, there's gonna be two oval shaped holes and those are gonna line up with some holes there in this uh, piece that drops down. And what you can do is take a fish wire and take the coil end of it and just run it through there. And when you, you kind of push it somewhat up and forward, and it'll kind of come out the other side there. And what you can do is grab a spacer block like this, slide that over, and this type of carriage bolt. We'll thread that on. And then you can feed that up. You're trying to pull it out. You might have to kind of, you know, push the hitch up or, or uh, move it around to get it to actually pull through there. But once it does, you can 
unthread the pull wire. And when you're doing this, be careful not to drop that back into the frame. So you can take a small flathead screwdriver and just apply some, some pressure to the bolt to keep it steady. That way you're able to grab the flange nut, get that started hand tight. And I'm gonna use that same uh, procedure and that same hardware to do uh, this attachment point. With all the hardware in place and in tight, we're gonna first tighten back up our factory bolts there at the very top. So you wanna push your bumper up, you know, to, to kind of swing it back up in its original position and while you're holding it, snug that factory bolt down. And then we'll use that same 18 millimeter to snug this one up as well. For the carriage bolts, you wanna go ahead and run them down using an 11 16 And finally, we can come back with a torque wrench and torque down all of the hardware to the amount specified in our instructions. And that'll finish up our look at in our installation of the Kurt front mount trailer hitch receiver on our 2018 Ram 2500.